Welcome to the Savvy Property Investors Podcast, a weekly show that delivers the best hard-hitting property industry news, business advice, and talks that will get you ascending in the real estate industry. Now, here's your host, the amazing award-winning property and business coach, best-selling author, and serial entrepreneur, Miss Sapphire Gray. Hello, savvy people, and welcome to a new episode, episode five. Our show topic today is, are you in debt? And how to write to your creditors so you can clear down your debt. But before I go into our show topic, which I'll be hosting today, I just wanted to welcome you to the Savvy Property Investors Show. Now, it's not only for property investors, it's for business owners, coaches, consultants, trainers who want to become savvy investors and build a legacy for their loved ones. But also this season, we're looking at debt and finances. We think it's only befitting since we're all going through an economic challenge time to really look and consider our finances in our personal life and also our business life. So as I said, I'm your host for this week. And as I bring different episodes and different topics, I'd really like you to be interactive with me, share with me your thoughts on the topics that we share with you and have shared with you. Share with me things that you would love us to talk about. This could be about financing, how to clear down debt, cost saving ideas, anything you feel that would really help the rest of our audience to really benefit from, please feel free to share a topic with us. And we'll definitely look to put that in our show for for discussion. Sometimes we interview our clients and sometimes we interview um, key professionals in this arena. However, this season, we've just been talking about a different way of looking at our finances, credit cards, how to um, look at the APRs. What are we getting coming into our households and going out? As I said, This show today is all about, are you in debt? And how do you write to your creditors? Not a lot of people know how to write to their creditors or even that they can write to their creditors to really get a benefit of clearing down the debt and actually saying to them your own proposal of what you're prepared to pay after going through the diagnostic that I shared with you in episode three, which you should have the forms by now to, um, to say, how much you've got coming in and how much you've got going out. But before today's show, I want to remind you of a couple of things. If you're new to our podcast, please feel free to subscribe, like and share and give us some feedback as well so that you don't miss any other episodes. You can also download our toolkit that I put together for those who still want to go ahead and invest in property. It's called the Property Investors Toolkit. This will really give you the foot footings to make it really happen for you. And following the footsteps of people like myself that I've created this toolkit out of is the steps that I took to build out my property portfolio. Maybe you're still struggling on the strategy you want to do or struggling on how to purchase properties in this current climate. Go ahead and you can look at these documents, which is updated with all the latest information, how you can purchase in any climate and still make a profit. Economic downturns always is the best time to look at investing in property um, as people sell up. And those are the kind of properties you can get below market value. So head over to our website, www.savvywomen.co.uk where you can down your um, toolkit for £37 only. If you scroll down in the show notes as well, you'll find a link to this wonderful offer. Again, it is only £37 as it stands. For those who um, don't know me and have not been following or subscribed to our show, my name is Sophia Gray. I'm an award-winning property investor and business coach, expert, for you savvy people. With over 30 years experience in this arena, if you visit my website, sapphiregray.com, then you can learn more about me and the services that I offer. And this 
uh, in this season, again, we're talking about personal finance and the best way to utilize your uh, personal and business finance over the next coming weeks, months and years. And we have also discussed several topics with you in this short mini series as well. So our short mini series started off with the best credit check services compared. That was in episode two. Episode three was the household and um, personal income, where I gave you a form to fill out what's coming in and what's going out. You will need that form again for this episode. But in episode five, uh, in four, we looked at the annual percentage APR, what it is and how it works. And that was sort of taking you through your loans and your credit cards and then clearing down the debt through um, from the highest APR down to the lowest and how you can actually move to a 0% finance credit card as well. But today we're talking about are you in debt and how to write to your creditors? And our final one in this episode of how to control, um, take control of your money is going to be in episode six, 101 money saving tips. And I'll be sharing it with in a fortnight with you about that. I also give away free PDFs in each of our episodes. So please make sure um, you're reaching out and asking for those PDFs so that you can see uh, the workbooks that accompany each episode that we've put out in this season. So welcome to um, the Savvy Property Investors Show. And I'm talking today to you about are you in debt and how to write to your creditors. I like to educate people to get so they can get clear on their debt without feeling pressurized. So today I'd like to show you how you can clear your debts by simply writing to your creditors and explaining your situation in simple terms that you understand and so does your creditors. You will need to gather all the creditors details. And this could include um, the amount of money you owe them, your reference number, the amount you're currently paying, their address, um, and the person that you may need to write to. Make sure that you're writing to the correct department. But when you're writing to them, I'm going to also mention that you should also register the mail. So that's the sign for, so that you've got a proof that you've posted it to them. And then you can see who signed for that, that postage as well. I've also created a template for you to fill in the blanks. So I've made it even easier for you to actually follow through on this as well. This will show you exactly what I'm suggesting you pay on your debts. And bear in mind, the lowest you can ask to pay is one pound. And then ask them to freeze the interest on it. They will ask you to create a document, which I explained already. We've already got that document. So you can just send them that full document showing that you've got no extra money to pay debts and you're willing to pay a token payment of a pound. If you need help with this form, please um, say a comment in the thread or just say help and I would understand that and reach out to you or you can email us at contact at savvy, S-A-V-V-Y, women, W-O-M-E-N, .co.uk. That's contact at savvywomen.co.uk. And I'll be happy to help you fill out the form and get this um, off to your creditors so we can start looking at to clear down your debt. So what, why should you write to your creditors? Now, this is a question that I get asked all the time. Why is it that you're writing to your creditors? Well, you're right to them to put them so you're not becoming an ostrich. Because when we get in debt, and don't worry, I've done this myself. Many years ago, um, I was in debt myself and behaved like an ostrich. Now, I literally buried my head, thought the letters would go away and the debt would go away if I ignored the letters. Well, I was a fool to myself because this never happened. You have to confront your debt. No matter which way you look at it, and by confronting it, is getting ahead of it. If you're in debt, don't be ashamed. Don't feel a, a way about it. Just deal with it as you need to. And that's what we're here for. We're here to help you not feel a way about being in debt. The world is in debt, you know, and 
it can be a positive thing to take on debt, but it can also be a negative thing. And the ne negative side is the loans, the surmounting bills coming in or at home, and you're just feeling lost and out of control. But if you reach out to us, we're able to help you with this and get back in control of your own bills and show you how easy it is to start clearing your debt and clearing up your credit report as well. So why should you write to your creditors? Because you want to be ahead of the debt. You want to show them that you're willing to cooperate with them. You're willing to show um, that you are happy to pay a token payment towards your debt and you're not burying your head. And they I honestly can say they're there to help you. You just need to reach out and, and they'll be there to help you. So how does it work? Well, I'm going to take you for a step by step on this in a minute. But it's simply in simple terms, it's literally writing to them, explaining your situation, what you're willing to pay over what period of time. And they would um, assist you in coming back and saying, well, this is it's either acceptable what you've suggested or they would say this is what we think is this, um, the amount. Bearing in mind, it will always be less than what you currently are paying. So just make sure that you write to them and then they would respond to you. But I will go through that in a minute. So in episode uh, three, we looked at the household personal income. So go back to that form and fill it out. If you haven't got it, please um, leave a message in the comments below and I'll make sure you get that form. Again, you can reach out to us on contact at SavvyWomen.co.uk and one of my team members will get that over to you. So household personal income, this is what the form looks like. You're listing out, so step one now, you're listing out your creditors. So everything on here now is what your income's coming in, and all of it, what's going out. This is about a five-page document, so please request it so you can really put on there everything that you know that's coming in and everything that's going out. This will really help you see how much debt is owed and who you have to pay and what is a priority debt and what is not a priority debt. Please go back to um, episode three where you, uh, you can listen to what I class as a priority debt and, and a non-priority debt. Right. This is the letter, template letter, that I have also be giving to you that you can issue out to your creditors. So take out the template letter that I've provided, fill out all the blanks, um, your creditor's name, address, reference number, um, and how much you're wanting to pay. As a token payment, always say go with one pound. That's the lowest amount you can offer. So go with one pound. Um, two answers always they used to say, well, my mother used to say this, there's two answers in life, yes or no. And more often than not, all our clients that we have issued this to and on behalf of, their um, creditors have said yes with the one pound token payment. So rest assured that we've used this method with many of our clients, if not all, and it has worked. So step three is posting to each of your creditors. So you've done a letter, you've addressed it to them, personalized it. It's not just a blanket letter. It's got your reference number on it and you post it to each of your um uh, creditors so yeah make sure it's a registered post because then you've got proof you have written to them um, and then you can check on who has received the letter and who signed for it so make sure that you post it to each individual person that you owe money to this can also include housing benefits council tax loans mortgage all of these people can be um these letters can go to i would not say on the mortgage um at all or council tax or um your housing um rent that you will get it down to one pound but the debt that sits behind it 
will be a nominal amount. The nominal amounts will be suggested by the suppliers. So your mortgage lender um, to clear your debt, not your current mortgage, to clear the backlog. If there's a debt on it, they will tell you how much you can clear down that sits behind your current monthly payments. So don't feel that you can get your mortgage payments, your rents or anything like that down to a pound. These are those um, pound debts are for your credit cards. Normally you can get it down to a, a pound or loans. It is not for your mortgages or anything like that. And always speak to a financial advisor when it comes to mortgage payments. If you cannot afford what you're doing, you can also reach out to us and we can help you make informed decisions on this. But that is not the purpose of this exercise. It is your personal credit cards and loans that we're looking at with this these post and these letters and any other debts um, that you may have incurred. So um, creditors have now responded. Say, for instance, they've come back to you after 10 days. So what do you do now? So you've awaited a, the response for 10 days. Um, it's more likely to be less. Um, but because of the postal system we're going through in the UK at the moment, it might be slightly more. But once they've written back to you, they would either agree to the amount that you have paid or make a suggested uh, amount to pay. Now, if the suggested amount to pay is still uncomfortable for you, then I will suggest writing back to them and saying, making another offer and saying, this is what I really can afford. Now, they're not going to um, penalize you for, for asking it to be reduced. They want you to, they want to help you and they want to be there for you. So please don't feel a way of writing back to them and saying, well, hey, this is still unachievable what you're asking me to pay. So the next step, step five, is taking action. So when you create an action plan, once you've received a response, followed through, and you've done everything you can, and you know exactly what you're going to be paying, this is about following through now. This is about keeping your word. If it's a pound of accepted, make sure that you've set up a standing order or a direct debit with them and do not come off this agreement. Whatever that agreement amount, do not come off of it. Because once you come out of an agreement with them, it will it show that you're not um, trying to work together. It shows that you're working against them. So if you do run into difficulties, however, just paying a pound, again, don't feel away. Write to them or have a conversation and say that you're really struggling here. And they, again, will assist you. But don't just don't pay it. That is not the way to do it. Phone them, write to them, let them know your situation as and when you are aware of it. And make sure this is done every single month. You may find that clearing down estate is really putting you in a good, favourable position with them. Um, and as you know already, the, the economy is already breaking down right now. People need help. They're, it's going through tumultuous times and it's not good. And you may find yourself that you've not been in this situation before or you found yourself in this situation before and never dealt with it properly. No one's here to judge you. No one's going to be looking at you just because you're in debt. Everyone wants to help everyone now because they know how it is. We're all struggling. It doesn't matter where you are on this ladder, we are all struggling. When you're looking at your debt, you may have a plan to want to pay off your debt at some point. With the plan and the letter that I've put in place for you all, you will have 12 months to really look at what, either moving your job to get better pay, increasing your clients if you're self-employed, selling more goods if you're self-employed, getting additional work in, all of these things count towards clearing down your debt. But you need to have a plan in place to know what the full amount of those debts are and how you can clear it down by using the process that I'm, I've been teaching you over the last few weeks. And this is all about looking at your, your um, 
APR debts, your credit card ratings, what those are. Try and get the highest ones cleared off first and then work your way through them. They may come back to you, your creditors may come back to you and make you an offer to clear off, say, 50 or 75% of your debt and then wipe the rest of it off. The caveat here is simply that they always say there might be a mark on your credit file. Um, but because you're in debt already, what you don't want is to gather CCJs. And this is why I'm telling you to take action now. So it prevents you having CCJs. Defaults will drop off your credit file. But you may not even even got to the point of defaulting on any loans. It just is simply unaffordable. And to get it down to a pound will still not put you into default or a CCJ. That's, you know, so always look at your debt as if you're in control of it at the front end, you won't have no markings on your file. You just be clearing it down. And if they do come back and make you an offer, then if you've got enough money, then you can clear it then. So keep going until your debt is cleared. This simply is working out your plan that you've put in place, making sure, right, I you've dedicated the next year to pay this and get in control. Then the following year, you want to start clearing down some of the big ones. But by planning and looking at how much money that will take to do that will put you in a good position to make sure that you're constantly clearing down your debts. Don't also get into more debt so not because you've got credit cards and you're clearing off those credit cards should you spend on those credit cards get into the habit of only using money that you have available to you don't put it on no more credit cards i'm not saying to get rid of them but what i'm saying is don't put any more debt on them let's clear the debt we've got on them now and then later on you can go back and say all right i use this card to then build up your credit score again. So that's a never a conversation for another day, but do not continue to spend on your cards. If you feel they're too tempting, then ask to um, then cut them up and just say to them, I would like to close your credit cards. I'd like to close the account um, based on me clearing the debt of my credit cards. I hope that made sense. I hope you've enjoyed today's um podcast it's really about trying to get at you to have in your head that if you're in debt you can write to your creditors and start to get yourself debt free start to build back your confidence with money start to get yourself out of worrying and feeling like you're just in a a quandary with with it we looked at are you in debt and how to write to your creditors. Now, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got a lot of benefits from it. And that next week we'll be talking about the 101 and some money saving tips and ideas that you can have a look at. If you would like to reach out to myself, as I said, you can do so on contact at savvywomen.co.uk. You can sign up for um, our Facebook groups as well and also download our free guide to complete guide to um, how to save money um, through this economic time. You can also join our social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and LinkedIn on at 50 Savvy Women. That's at 550 Savvy Women. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Our next show will be in two weeks' time. That will be on the 9th of February, where I will bring you a new episode of 101 um, fun, uh, Tips, 101 Money Saving Tips, where I'll be sharing with you then. So I hope you enjoyed our show. Um, I look forward to sharing more tips with you. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, review, download and share. Thank you for listening.
This week's episode of the Savvy Property Investors Podcast was brought to you by our sponsor, the Savvy Women Group. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's show, head over to our website, www.savvywomen.co.uk to gain access to our free resources and more insights about our guest speaker today. Remember, we make your business our business so you can unlock your full potential and improve your quality of life.